Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 31 of Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning on the Xbox Series X We are exactly where we were at the end of the last part, people As always, well as nearly always anyway 99.9% .9 of the time Right, we are, as it happens, going to get on with some questing people We're going to try and clear up our quest log, which is uh, getting a bit out of control again So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up And with most of them uh, if I feel like some of them might be a bit tedious, we might skip them for now, but uh, we'll try and clean some of them up. We are actually stood next to a couple of quests to pick up as well, methinks. And we're all good on the inventory front, 23 of 90. All right, let's crack in. I'm sure these treasures... No, oh, no, these are water ones. Noble Band, 60 health. Trash it. Flawless Binding. Uh, something's after me. Let's try the new wand uh, the new staff out. It's pretty decent, like. Yeah. Wow. That was pretty decent, wasn't it? And I'm forgetting that the staff can actually hit from a distance as well. Like the, the magic flies off of it, doesn't it? Alright. Yeah, there's two quests up there. Well, they can be collapsed. I'm actually junking the minor potions now. I don't think there's much point to them. Okay. Not too far as away from another level up, folks. Hammer of a Ravening. One for one physical damage. Not for us anyway. Well, the quest we need there we go, lucky mine. Right next to us. I'll repeat it again because uh, for those that don't know, unlike Skyrim, you actually get. Should we fight this big badger here? You actually get XP for finishing quests in this game. <laughs> this ain't going to plan, is it? <laughs> Hitting multiple targets with this wand as well. Or the staff, I should say. Plus one mana regen per second. Not bad, that. I'm not going to use it, though, am I? I've not run out of mana for a long time, have we? And I've been using some pretty uber moves. Lucky mine. Whoa, what the hell? Straight into the swims. Hey. 
feel like there's a wee treasure around here. That's the way we came in, isn't it? Well, they scarpered. Why? They're setting traps. Well, it looked like they were about to set a trap, but it's not actually been set. There's loads of little treasure things around here. I love how the chakrams get them on the way back. Superb. Bad that if you're a mite. Well, that seems to be the way we're meant to go, doesn't it? Let's have a look down here first. There's another white quest marker over here as well. Oh, yeah, that guy was asking us to find some wine. Was it unlucky mine? Well, some sort of beverage anyway. Whoa, now. Steady. Dirty rats. Yeah, Realty Broker. Darefell's Labours. Master slaughtering grip. 
Bloody hell. That just collapsed in front of us, isn't it? We were handing in some of these armbands, I think we're loads of them now. Really? curious how many healing potions I'm carrying around with me. Three master, seven great. Take Vane's armband. Try to remember which direction I came in from. Pretty sure we came in from here. Yeah. Ah, that's where the wall collapsed. been that way. Okay then. Green thumb. Harvested ten of each type of reagent. Nice. <coughs> the old harvesting's worthwhile then, even though I'm not using any of it. Uh, how do we get that? How do we get out of here? We've got to run all the way back. Looks like it, doesn't it?
Well, we might as well go back to the house and give him his drink. Because he'll probably give us another quest to do, I think. bottle of the Rialte Brocaire. This is going to treat me right. Yes, indeed. You've done me quite the boon fetching this, though I'll admit it leads me to outrageous wagers. For instance this. If you can complete eight labors of my choosing, I shall give you the treasures of Arathel. I agree to your terms. Excellent! You've already fetched the Rialte Brocaire for me. That can count as the first of the eight labors. Well done. Now, your next task. Take this letter to a man named Mattix Dace in the village of Candrian to the south. That is all. Mattix Dace. Okay, Doc. Who is he? Mattix Dace is the resident brewmaster of the Candrian Inn. He spent his entire life behind that bar. When you give him the letter, it's probably best if you don't mention me immediately. Let him figure things out for himself. Farewell. Fare ye well. <clears throat> Alright, so who was... It's bugging me now that these quests are right next to us. How do we get up to those so we don't miss them? Yeah, you've got to run right around here, haven't we? Before we go handing the other one in, we'll pick these up, I think. Hey, I've been up here before because I got that stone, didn't I? Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Corporal Ivor. What are you looking at? Wait, you look like a capable sort. I might have a job for someone capable. What kind of job? We set out, against orders, mind you, from Melaglir to put down this nasty brigand named Conover. Found him, and his followers too, but there were more of them than we expected. The few of my unit left alive only barely escaped. If you could finish Conover, I can pay you. Okay, Doke. Great. Head south to the Fiend's camp. It's huge. Lousy with every rogue and thief in the region. Shouldn't be hard to locate. Report to me when Conover's dead, and I'll see that you're rewarded. May you deliver Conover under the best defense. <coughs> Hey, oh, there's the other one. Burdan Tam. Or Bardan Tam. I need your help, please. My daughter Julia has been kidnapped by bandits. Those animals left me for dead and took her. I'm a tinker for fate's sake. What kind of savages attack a tinker? Julia is the only family I have left. Will you help me? How can I help? Oh, he's got a shop as well. Let's have a look.
plus one to all sorcery abilities. Be tempted if it wasn't for the experience rings I've got on. Take the locks off you though. Surging Shakrams of Execution. Not as good as what I've got though. I'll sell you all my junk though, just for the sake of a trip later. <sighs> that was silly. I keep doing that and then realise I wanted to collapse half of it anyway, never mind. Keeps things low. How can I help? The bandits here are fierce, led by one called Conovar. He attacked us in broad daylight when we were trying to leave this place. I've lived my whole life on these roads. I know full well that the price of travel is a bit of coin in the pocket of the local thugs. But these fiends took my daughter. I'll pay anything I have to get her back. Will you find her? Oh. <laughs> it sounds like someone's having sex next to us. I will find her. Thank you. I heard Conovar tell his men to put her with the rest of the lot before selling them. For fate's sake, hurry! I hope you fare better than those Kandrian guard clowns. Most of them didn't last long enough to see the bandit camp. I want my daughter back. I'll pay you with all the gold I have. Oh. Farewell. Uh. Oh. Uh. Didn't tell me what the quest is. Oh. Oh, the Tinker's Daughter, there you go. Oh. Oh, you don't eat? Right, we'll head to... Right, who was this quest for? Oh, it's for Helmgard Keep. And this one in. One of the order, eh? What brings you to Helmgard? Grinning Vane is dead. That Freeman bastard they drove up lucky mine. Well done. Real war sworn work, that. And here's your goal. Bye. Thank you. Ooh, that XP is nearly at a level up in it. Hey. I'm pretty sure their stuff's going to be rubbish now. Just check the. Armor shine, sword sharp. That's our crop. I've got spear hafts, but no spear head. Yeah, it's all low end stuff now compared to what we're on. About crafting stuff though, she got any of that? Yeah, she has. It's all improved stuff though. Improved frosted fulcrum. I think mm, I don't think improved's particularly high, is it? If I'm rightly. It's, you can't sell just the half. Now, what was my tally? Onward. Weapons I'm happy with at the moment. Welcome to Helmgard. Right. What's next on the list? Well, the Tinker's Daughter happens to be on the bottom. Uh, refugees trying to rebuild in Colm were attacked by Tuatha Raiders. Alright, do the Tinker's Daughter then.
I always forget the name of... <laughs> the village where the guy is that... I know it's near that big tall mountainy thing. Is it Aiton? No, it's not Aiton, is it? It's not New Colm. It's the guy that collects the armbands I'm thinking of. It's not Turin's Rest. It could be Aiton. I think it is. He's usually bouncing around here somewhere. Oh, there's a stone here. Gonna get that. There's a quest in there as well. Find Cranalt. Right, where's this badger at then? Hmm. Doesn't light it up, does it? Might be in here. You think it'd have a marker on him though? Can. Mm, don't think it's him. You want a merchant? Try the innkeeper Gordon or the local shops. But if you want your cards read, I'm your man. Or perhaps if you have some coin, you There's want a fate to weaver. another time, maybe. That's weird. Where's this guy gone then? <laughs> I, well, I thought I would have thought he would have a a circle mark on him. I'm going to get our stone while we're. It could be he's only around in the daytime or something. How I missed this one, it's right there. The fade dwindle in these forgotten. Ooh, complete set. Our magic fades as the mortals toil and mark the land with hoe and plough. The walls were crafted from ancient winds and streams, and time the countless seasons of the great cycle. The mortals do not see the cycle's passage in this tired earth. But the fields grow older, and one day, so will the people. Yeah, what did that give us then? God's sake. Oh, the wall it must be the walls one, yeah. Plus four percent health. Forever. Not bad, eh? Oh, chance to steal mana on hit from that one as well. Five percent. Doing right on these now.
Okay, now how many armbands that I can't get rid of? I can't give the damn things away because I don't know where the dude is. Right, there's a couple of folk walking around up here now. Hello there, stranger. Enjoy your stay. It's not him. No, he looks like a guard, doesn't he? Careful when wandering outside of town. There's freemen lurking around every corner. Hmm. Where does he go then? Well, that's got me bamboozled, people. Unless he's in this shop. The only place I've ever seen him is standing here, about the blacksmiths. Back for more smithy work? Or looking to use the forge on your forge is yours, whenever you need. Well, that's just weird. I don't know where. I don't know where this guy is. There's two people over here, but I think uh, he's a guard. Uh, wait a minute. He's, no, no, that's a woman. East yeah. of here is the road to Talarain. A place where artifice and nick flutter away. Right, okay, I think I'll just sack it off for now. It's annoying me though, because I think we get XP. We certainly get gold for handing them in. Could try teleporting out and in again, of course. Just do we'll do that and if that doesn't work, we'll head off. Well, there he is, by the looks of it. Finwick Ivor, that's his name. Need a bed? Gordon runs the inn. He can see. Come about the bounty. Oh, really? Someone finally answers to my posting? Well, do you have anything to turn in? I'll trade in some armbands. Now that's what I like to see. Fifty grand. Finally, nice. those bandits will know what it's like to be preyed upon. Thirty-two bands out. You earned it. Keep the peace. Yeah, oh, didn't get any XP in the end, by the looks of it. Never you mind. Okay, right, we were on with. Tinker's daughter. Rescue Julia Tam. Actually, quite enjoying using my staff. I feel like 
I don't know. I feel like I, I'm getting more out of this one than uh, the previous ones. I could be wrong, though. Intricate carving of flowers and vines. Incredibly lifelike in their detail. Cover the headstone of Jera Sorin. In particular, one rose stands apart from the rest. Well, there's a white marker in front of us. Dun there. Actually, it's all done there. Feckin' hell, how many red markers are down there for enemies? Holy shit. Looks like we're entering a camp of some description. level ups coming people. I've got people behind me as well. Ow. Woo, level up and ride your pony. Big dudes, isn't it? Well, let's do our level up. So, ah, we're going to be able to make better gems now, which is good. You can strengthen shards by combining two of the same quality to get one of the next highest quality. That's what we're after. We could do with finding people that teach you sage crafting. You can create more powerful gems using pristine quality shards, yeah. You can craft epic gems. You can remove gems. Ah, I knew we could do it at some point. There you go. Right, well, we'll keep doing the old... Oh, well, actually, we could try out the uh, special attack, shouldn't we, for the staffs? I'm just, I'm just tapping X to use them. <clears throat> so, we're on to the next level up, which is Delayed Special Attack. That's uh, Unlock Special Attack from Block for Staff. Unlocks Charge Special Attack for Staff and Chakrams. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting about the Charge Special Attack. Unlocks Delayed Special Attack for... Unlocks Dodge Special Attack, yeah. Anyway, Ooh, eight points away from getting these big ones at the top here, people. Sphere of Protection gains the power to fire. Oh, we don't use that, actually. <laughs> no, I'm on that one. Uh, it calls forth a meteor from the skies, dealing massive damage to the area before you. And... Hold the button for Ice Barrage to launch a persistent cloud of ice shards which last for a duration. Enemies in the blizzard suffer periodic ice piercing and freezing damage. What? As it happens, I'm probably not using one of my better moves at the minute. Because that seems to suggest it's better than these two. Until I get them to that level. Tempest. <clears throat> well, we could try it instead of the ice one for a while, just to say, because I'm not using the ice one as much, so let's try it, shall we? Confirm that. Confirm. Actually, I think we've got a new. Uh, bloody blink. Missing out on so much because I just don't want to use Blink and I can't... It's so annoying that you can't decide not to use Blink. It's 
So I'm stuck on plus 30% elemental damage and I could be getting so much more out of that. Plus 15% duration to all duration based spells. Anyway. It kind of ruins the whole mage thing for me because it's like I don't want roll. I don't want to lose roll, but I want all the other benefits. I don't understand why they would have done that and locked you into blink. We have a new move. Oh, that's holding it down. That's shield plus hit, that one. Oh, nice. That's a double whammy. I've been using that because I've been tapping it. Oh, that's for scepters. That's for chakrams. Yeah, we've got Maelstrom. Right, we need to try a couple of these uh, stave moves then. Wow, it's quite smart. It just so happens I've picked the only fucking creature that's immune to bloody <laughs> fire. Just gonna keep charging until he hit me there, wasn't Is he still alive? He's still on fire. Ooh, there's a stone around here, but it's up there. Damn it. to sigh. Well, that's how I'm pronouncing it anyway.
well that's the cave we need to go into but I don't know how I've managed to miss I thought I came from that direction but I've missed a stone somehow Yeah, maybe not actually. There's a bear over there. The Lord of Tides, the Candrian Stone. The Bandon Prince of Melaglir. He forged from blood a sword of sin to cut and rend and sear. From hardened hearts, his people wept. Whoa. Tears to flood from stone unbroken. The long forgotten truth unspoken. Okay, I know I'm going the wrong way, but I feel like there's something to discover up here. Whoa, now. Colossae's Blessing or Colossae's Blessing plus 50 health, plus 1.5 regen per second, plus 1 to my abilities. Not bad that actually. Ooh, ooh, Harbinger's Vestments. Is that not what we're wearing? Oh, we moved over to Arcanist, didn't we? I know. I think I might... Oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> I think I've got two of the Harbinger pieces on. Yeah, we have. So we'll get plus 2 mana regen per second if we put that on. But it's got a bit less armor than the Arcanist one. Mm, I think we argued that we weren't getting the plus one to sorcery abilities out of that arcane thing as well. So I'm going to prove that theory in a second. Because we should be getting three. So if we look at our abilities. Yeah, so they're getting seven of five at the moment. So if we move over to the Harbingers. Ooh, that's quite smart, isn't it? So we're now getting the plus two mana regen per second in, this, in the middle there. You can see it. We'll get plus 25 physical resistance if we can find another piece. I don't think I've ever got a full set in this game at this level. Um... So that begs the question. Yeah, we're still on seven. So there's something that restricts the amount that can go on. I wonder if it is only two above the max that you can do. Or you can only have one of them from one piece of kit. Eight of six, yeah. Nice. Well happy with that. Well, it's got a little cape on it as well, look. Oh, that's superb. I love that outfit. Well, we don't have the hat, do we? Um, at the moment, we're wearing... Yeah, so the feet of the Disciples' sandals. See, again, they've got plus one to sorcery abilities on them. So, we're only getting the benefit of the highest one. Uh, which is the Harbinger's... No, it's not. Hand wraps. Yeah, the hand wraps are giving us plus two. 
So, yeah, so we're missing a trick there as well. But we are getting a load of protection off of that, though. Uh, damage, sorry. Plus 10% on all damages and plus 10% mana regen per second. So they are pretty decent. So we've got the boots and the... Oh, actually, just the boots. So it's only the boots we're missing. Excellent. Well, that was a bit of a find, wasn't it, eh? Again, though, I don't know um, if these things are always in the same location or not. Or whether it's just a luck of the drop. Um... Oh, no, it's not the hat, is it? It's the boots. Yeah, it's just the boots. Sorry, it's just the boots we've not got. So, yeah. Might might be worth trying to figure out where those are at. I think I said this in the last part. I might you, uh, Google it. It's what they're called, though, isn't it? Harbinger's... Uh And just shoes, they seem to be called. I'm just having a little look, people, to see if they're. Uh... Location can be found, yeah, randomly in chests as loot, yeah. So there's no way of knowing exactly where they're going to be because it's just a random drop. Which kind of, I mean, it is kind of cool that they do that so that you can't just Google it and find out. But by the same token, <laughs> you could play the game forever and not necessarily get the whole, the whole thing. Oh, well. And for every... Dispel check. Mind you, if it's random, I don't. It, 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 I guess you don't know what's in the chest till it must decide what's in the chest when you open it, rather than it already pre be predetermined on map load. Loads of arrow guys. Best defense. Return to Corporal Ivar. All right. That was part of a quest. Well, as it happens, that is in the same place as where the dwarf is. So, if we save the daughter, we can return them both at the same time. Uh. 
Well, that was handy. Let's dance. Is that there? That was the slaves. Alright, okay. <laughs> Try to kill them. Some rescuer I am. I believe how powerful this bloody staff is after me slagging them off earlier and wanting my daggers back. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, I was going to try Tempest out, wasn't I? Varani Wine. Oh, it's more slaves. Well, actually, while we're on with it then, let's just uh, do that and give it a go. Until such time as we get the uber move for the ice one. Now. Oh. Why can't I map it to the... Oh, you've got to map the bottom one, is that what it is? Alright. Uh, Not sure that's true now that I'm saying it, because I'm sure I've got the lightning one. So how do you activate Tempest then? Yeah, I have. I've got it on B. I must hold it down then. Well, that doesn't do anything. Hey. Hold the button for Storm Bolt to summon forth lightning from the heavens, smiting all nearby foes. All right. It's not what I thought it was then. I thought it was the one they were using, which is sort of a three cyclone thing coming towards you. Increase storm bolt damage and causes shocking damage to bounce between your enemies. Yeah, that's just a 
passive, I think. Yeah. Okay. Let me try this a bit more then. Fucking hell, I should be using that a bit more. Give that a whirl. It's all about timing with those sort of things though, isn't it? Yeah, see, you need the... Yeah, I mean, it's just utter devastation. Thank Fucking you. hell. I've come to rescue you, Julia Tam. Awful. They were going to sell me to the Tuatha and send me to some place called the Keening. I've got to get back to Father. Thank you, Doke. Save me! That was absolutely devastating, that move. Jesus Christ. Gloves of the Wanderers. It's a finesse one. Looks sweet though, don't they? Minus 20% equip requirements, plus 5% critical hit, plus 15% poison damage, plus 20% bleeding damage, plus 2 to all finesse abilities. Fucking hell, they're awesome, aren't they? They're pretty badass as well. Hex weave robes. They've got more armor and three sockets on them. However, we're trying to get Harbinger's Vestments, aren't we? Might be worth hanging on to those, actually. I think there's... Th I stink. <laughs> Start that again. I think there's still some people to save in these here parts. <laughs> she just walked past all those uh, guards running out the cave. Fucking hell. That's just devastating, isn't it? Uses a fair bit of mag of magic right enough, but that's the way out. Can't go actually. I can't get up to those bits up there. This house is clean. Well, mind you, apart from yeah, was that not one that I needed to dispel though, and I didn't want to? Can't remember.
Yeah, it was. God damn it. Why have I got such a short term memory problem, people? That's alright, it's on the way out anyway. Well, that's two quests to hand in. Whoa, what the fucking hell? They've all come back. Ow. Well, I don't necessarily want to fight them all again, do I? It's quite quick for them all to come back, though, isn't it? I think I need to be right round the other side of all of this. Oh, I can teleport there. Nice. Uh, 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 Conobus dead. I can't believe it. That'll show Lord Kendrian. If his lordships had his way, we'd be wearing a rotor on Meleglia shouting, Hey, stop that over the pikes while this villain bled us to death. You've earned this. Spend it well. Until later then. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Oh, Julia's back. You did it! I can't thank you enough, stranger. Of course, any amount is insufficient to express my thanks, but please take this gold in payment. We'll be on our way then. Travel safely. Anything new in your shop? Not really. How much money have we got? Ooh. I think I'm going to keep clocking it up to see if I can get to a million. <clears throat> and they're off. Not a backpack between them. <laughs> what are you going to eat? What are you going to live on? Come on now. What are you going to sleep on? Sleep under. You've just not thought it through. Well, next on the quest list will be... Oh, Jesus Christ. Is it just me or is it getting longer rather than shorter? Out of the ruins. Refugees trying to rebuild Colm were attacked by Tuatha raiders. It's not too far away. Uh, probably... The Blackened Hall is the best place to start, I would think. Well, we've gone well over the hour mark again, people. Well, there you are. An ideal place to begin the next part, people. Still thoroughly enjoying this. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.